I did go thrift shopping and I'm so excited to show you guys everything. So yeah, okay, so I actually went thrift shopping and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got because I have been manifesting for one of the pieces for the longest time, mind you. I'm not like a huge thrift thrift girly. Um, I love thrift shopping, but it's never like, when I say that, I don't mean like, oh, I don't thrift shop. No, I mean, I don't wait for the weekend to go thrift shopping. Like, you know what I mean? For me, that is something that I have to be super on the mood, in the mood with. Um, excuse me. I have to be super in the mood for. And today, I was like, I do need to go to the ER, but I would need to go there first. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Also, if I'm sniffly, no, that's not why I need to go to the ER. I just had mommy issues and was crying. So, let me show you what I got. I have random totes and I didn't know what they were from because of this. <laughs> Are you interested in what I order? Cold brew without milk, literally. That's it. So, they had this little puzzle. I think it's so freaking cute. It says six plus, so I'm actually gonna be able to use it at work for my students. Um, I hope they're all there. I truly, I truly hope so. And then I got my girlfriend these Bronco deck of cards. So Liz actually, her dream card is a Bronco, but not like the newer Broncos, like, like the Broncos. Like when I say Broncos, like you, you know what I mean? That's what she's always wanted. And I saw this deck of cards. Oh no. Part of the paint came off back but i'm gonna have to leave this tape in because it brought up some of it um but it's a deck of cards we actually collect deck of cards too so this is perfect first off it's hot i know i just said it's hot <laughs> but i'm always looking for a good nice sweater for this uh for the winter because i tend to not have any like i have some but i don't have any like good ones it's usually the ones that i've accumulated throughout the years that i buy because they're on sale and i think i need it um it is a turtleneck plus it's isn't it giving like 1989 vibes like come on i had to also got this little sweater and this is something that i could wear throughout the school year i'm actually might wear it on monday because if you were even if you're not a teacher uh, from being a student, do you guys remember how cool the classrooms get? Look at the detail of it. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna... Like, this little detail, it just makes it so cute. The little pockets. Everything about this is just so cute. This piece I got is this button-up, and it is so funky. It is so, so freaking funky. I didn't even know that it had, like, little puff sleeves. But it's so cute, and I don't know, this pattern to me, like... First off, it looks like hearts, and it looks like a neutral version of the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> and it's so cute! And the thing, too, is that with tacky sweaters or, like, holiday sweaters, um, holiday sweaters, they tend to not be the best material. They tend to be itchy material or stuff like that. But, like, look at this. Just from looking at it, it's not itchy, it's so soft. Like, I would love a blanket like this. I couldn't get myself to spend over $100 on a sweater. Even if it's Ralph Lauren, that that's the one that I wanted, right? Um, well, guess what? I found a quarter zip Ralph Lauren sweater. So anyway, I thought this was so amazing because I've literally been searching for one that's really nice. cat hair but anyway hi we are at home now and 
yeah um uh, today was very eventful which is why i mean at least you guys see my class if you haven't yet i feel like i've been trying to show you guys my class for years and i don't know if it's ever happened i can't i can't think about it maybe like i film it and then i just never upload things that's that's what tends to happen a lot that i was going to film a little bit at least film my class so i did show you guys a little bit of my class um long story short today was hectic and that's because i was just associated with the hectic part of it um my next door neighbor teacher who's also my really good friend um some stuff happened obviously can't share and so because of that obviously i was trying to support in the best way that i could as a neighbor teacher um and that is by keeping my kids distracted <laughs> things and so i wasn't able to really film much after just that this clip that you guys just saw but anyway um yes i did go to the little event so what happened was that i think it was liz that sent it to me first and then my friend um marissa sent it to me as well and it was like the boom boom cream event that was happening here in austin which um i don't know why i thought it was going to be a lot bigger i should have known are you so it was literally samples which again i went but there was no line but if you're just around like why not it's literally a travel size boom boom cream and honestly i don't know how much a sample size is i'm pretty sure it's about ten dollars it has to be if i can open it thank you that's awesome i'll be there one day but yeah like honestly wow it's a lot of product i will say that um but again like if you had to wait hours i wouldn't do it even like 30 minutes which i don't think no one had to wait in line so honestly i'm gonna be quite honest with you all you had to do was scan a qr code which i do think the qr code should have been like more towards the front of the line like the end of the line and then email name and then you're in and then you just grab things you can use samples i just sprayed myself with it with the spray of of this one and i smelled really good but no honestly like and i smell really good and i'm totally gonna be carrying this around and then i also love these little sample sizes because keep the container get the big one keep refilling it when you travel bomb bom dia brightening brightening cream and i have been wanting to try this one the thing is that i love this one so much i love the original one so much for 44 dollars originally it was like almost 60 and it's like this squirt honestly i have this one in a green and a white the thing is that the this is more like the white one like the material is more like the white one as the green one it's a lot thicker and nicer which the navy blue is the same that's the one i wanted but they didn't have it in my size paying i saw these little golf tees and of course i had to get them for this they're so cute i want to open them but i'm not two things i would like to organize in my closet which is not going to happen and this area right here that area maybe get fresh flowers i don't know but anyway right now i'm making breakfast let me tell you what i'm making it's gonna explode here favorite dish ever and it's chilaquiles it's literally my favorite dish um if you know you know i genuinely love chilaquiles i it's my favorite did it fall no it's my favorite meal ever i could eat it all the time but obviously now that i'm going on a health journey or have been on a health journey for a while now um i'm very conscious of what i'm eating so if i'm eating bad i know i'm eating bad okay um but anyway so with chinoquila is what i like to do to kind of like supplement a little bit or not supplement but like change it up make it a little healthier is i use these 25 calorie per tortilla okay this might not be like the cutest angle ever but um, i just let me lower this down i just lay down to read a book i have not read this whole week and the, my whole purpose of this year was to read a book a week and it's been really hard to do that specifically my brain doesn't work like that so i don't know why i did that goal for myself
Okay, first off, no, I didn't read for the hour and a half that I wanted to read. I only read for an hour. I wanted to read for two hours technically, but I was only able to read for about 50 minutes. My brain started going somewhere. Then I decided that I wanted to get on my phone. Okay, um, I'm back in the same spot. I feel like I'm just narrating what I'm doing without showing you, but like honestly, um, I would feel very uncomfortable taking you to the gym. And I hope you can hear me <laughs> behind this like light mask that I have. I just showered, exfoliated, shaved, didn't wash my hair because I just washed it on Friday. So I'm like, I don't want to wash it till like tomorrow or Tuesday. But anyway, so I ended up going to the gym. I ended up doing weights. I was able to do um, lower body, specifically my quads, my hammies, and my booty. Um, I was going to do caps and all that other stuff, but I can do that at home, honestly. I carry enough weight on myself to be able to do, like, little calf raises without having to have more weight on it. So we have to bring them out. But this is more like our fall decor, which we tend to do after Halloween. But anyway, we still brought it in. And look at these little cuties. Spooky. <laughs> so I'm just going to this side because I'm going to just put them in there. Then this one says scaredy cat. And then we have Mama's Boo. How cutie. It's a little cringy, I know, but whatever. Oh, and then we have one of these. Should I like the Target ones? I think it's from last year. And then we also have the cat. So that's really cutie. Um, I know we have five cat bowls, so I really don't know where they are. And this just seems like it's not going to be in here. Hmm. Okay. And then we also, let me show you real quick. Okay. I got my favorite blankets in storage. I can't wait to get them. I know. I miss Luna. I don't know. Hey, football time. <laughs> I don't know why I bought so many of these. Restroom. I don't know, but I'm just I I know. <laughs> our. I thought you said you didn't want to put everything out too early to. Our mat, our doormat. It's a spider web that we never took away <laughs> down. And then like in June, I was like, I'm not gonna change it. Once I actually found it, but this is for the restroom. I love this vibe. I do have a vintage bag. That looks vintage. It sucks. These I are my favorite. I love that cup. I love that cup. It's my favorite cup. It's my favorite. Even though I gave you that one, I hate it so much. You want me to, you want to break it? No. You can break it. I feel like I jinxed myself. Um, I think she was dead already. No. But also, I got Luna stuff. I don't think we jinxed her. I think she was just meant to happen. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Look, this one. How cute. It's so cute. I think I'm going to wash it too. <laughs> There's another one. I knew we had three. I knew we had three. And then this thing. Because we got this at Ross. Literally. $4.99. I think the price tag on everything, huh? And then there's a deal. We have a song. And I said, our song is the same as Steam Door, speaking in LA, tripping on hill windows. When we're on the phone and you talk real slow, cause it's late and your mama don't know. Smoothie? Where? <laughs> That's a cute doggy. Whoa. Yeah, you like that? Look at that. Look at the way that wiggles. 